Hello. What has the formula P equals F times V got to do with the maximum speed of a car? That's what I'm going to talk about in this video. This car has an engine that delivers a forward thrust, F. The reason why the car cannot increase its speed indefinitely is because of the drag force, D. In fact, at the maximum speed of the car, these two forces should be exactly equal. This also means that at maximum speed, the power delivered by the engine of the car, which is given by F times V, should be equal to the drag force times the maximum speed. In other words, to keep this car going at a constant speed of V max against a drag force of D, the engine of the car must deliver power at a rate of D times V max. If we sketch the FV graph for the car engine, it will be a 1 over x graph. This is because we are assuming the power delivered by the car engine to be a constant. In practice, this corresponds to the maximum power that the car engine can deliver. For example, if the car engine is already burning the fuel at the maximum rate, then there's only so much power that the engine can deliver to the car. This means that at low speed, the engine can deliver a large forward thrust, but at high speed, the engine can only deliver a small forward thrust. The drag force on the other hand increases with speed, so if we assume that the drag force is directly proportional to the square of the speed, then the graph is going to be a quadratic one. Clearly, where the two lines intersect is where we get the maximum speed because that's where the drag force and the forward thrust are equal. At speeds lower than the maximum speed, then the difference between the two curves represents the net force. So you see the net force becoming smaller and smaller, meaning the car will accelerate at a lower and lower rate until it hits the maximum speed where it cannot accelerate anymore. If you want to increase the maximum speed of the car, you can use a larger engine, which supplies power at a higher rate. So the entire FV graph will shift this way. So the engine will be able to deliver a larger forward thrust at every speed. So you are going to get a higher maximum speed right here. Or you can make your car more streamlined, so the drag force will be lower at every speed. So that will uh, increase your maximum speed even further to this point here. Alright, that's all. Ta-ta!